defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. the Ravens now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. Third and goal at the three. Run in his hands, complete. Touchdown. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time with the tight end. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Cooper's got it. Ball was out. Tackles made. Well, one of the reasons why you put your fast guys on the kicking team because you want them to run down there and hit the returners hard. That was a great hit, causes the fumble, and they recover. First down at the 30. And Murphy makes the catch. Murphy's still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Second and three coming up. The Ravens come out. Jumbo package on the field. Austin's got the catch and the first. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time? Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. Brady, handoff. Let's get the injury report from Daniel Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Ravens official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. Here's the handoff. Tucks the one who made the big stop. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. It's the old Marino play. A fake spike and looking to throw. The margin is increased with another touchdown. What in the world has happened here, Phil? Not even finished with the first quarter, and this game is almost out of reach. It has been a lopsided affair. You've said that many times, and it has been. But you know what? Don't, don't be in total despair because you're losing here. Find a way to make some good plays, and maybe you can get back into this game. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Cooper's got it. was made by Daryl Smith. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The fumble by the kick return team and look out. The football goes out there. They make the recovery. Well, good job of them. First down at the 43. Almost intercepted that time. 
Second down here. The catch is made by Crabtree. It sure looked like an interception for a while there, Phil. But how about the effort by the wide receiver? Never give up, Jim. That's what you do as a wide receiver in this league. And he did in that time, and he gets the catch over the defender. What a jump. Oakland, touchdown. Cooper's caught his first touchdown of the season. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver, getting his first touchdown of his rookie year and, and making that catch. That is the first of many to come for him. With two hands, he has it. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Raiders getting ready to kick it off. Austin's going to start his return. Running room. A foot race to the end zone. And in for the touchdown. When you get a kick return for a touchdown, a lot has to happen. One, it takes talent by the kick returner. But look at all the good blocks we saw down the field and the speed of the kick returner. Touchdown. Ball is out. They will not find a way into the end zone. So they'll only get six points out of the trip. The Raiders' return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score's 28-6. to six. Cooper's got a chance to return this one. The ball is charged loose. He's brought to a halt. What a job by the kicking team. They hustle down the field. They make the big hit, and they recover the fumble. Well, this early in the game, to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20, this keeps the defense, uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, that'll get their confidence back. Murphy's met after a gain of eight. The Ravens offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone, caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Back here with Phil Sims to get the second quarter underway. A blowout already on hand. And, Phil, I know that you were out playing a lot of golf this week instead of preparing, so hopefully you don't get exposed here today. Did you get the names mixed up between Phil and Jim? You're the one that does all that golf announcing here on the second hole so listen I'm a football man I'm ready for the game and I'm going to keep talking about all the great stuff that we're seeing happen here on the field first and goal from the six the blowout continues another touchdown no signs of calling off the dogs anytime soon as the lead just continues to grow. Yes, they're so full of confidence. They know anything they try is probably going to work. The coaches are putting plays out there that gives their team a chance to make these explosive plays, and they're taking advantage of it. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Hooper's got it on the return. Balls loose. Makes contact with the down player, and that's where the play comes to an end. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. First down at the 29. To the ground. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. The Ravens come out in a jumbo set.
Three-step drop. Lewis Murphy Jr. is the receiver. Murphy's the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and one. Tavon off. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe this score? Hard to believe. It did here in the NFL. You don't see this too often, especially early in the second quarter where you think one team has absolutely no chance of winning this game today. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. The Ravens are ready to kick it away. Cooper's got a chance for a return. Ball is out. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. That return's good for about 31. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. The Ravens break huddle and show a jumbo look. Has Austin. Back that time, in on the tackle. The Ravens have tried to lean on the passing attack so far. Austin's been a menace out there in the secondary with huge first half totals. He does have a lot of talent. That's why they try to get the football to him. But the play design by the offensive coordinator, outstanding. That's why we're touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. And with that touchdown, he's cracked the 400 mark in his career. And again, with that touchdown on their latest drive, we have a quarterback zeroing in on the single game pass touchdown record. Wow, I like his chances of getting it, don't you? The way they are playing on the offensive side, the way they're calling plays, and the way the quarterback is just throwing the football pinpoint accurate. Any type of pass you need, he comes up with it. This is fun to watch. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. The Raiders now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive. And you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. The Raiders use a timeout here. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's first down as they head to the line. Gets the handle here. Jernigan's all over the ball carrier. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down coming up. Quick drop back. Carnes going to take off with it. Almost intercepted. Now looking at third down. The Raiders get set at the line, needing to get to the 14 for a first. Very nearly intercepted. Raiders put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The Raiders take it from the 28. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs. The Raiders decided to go for it on fourth down that time, and uh, hey, it didn't pay off. And of course, the coach, look at him now. He is second guessing his decision.
Midway second quarter. Weaving it down the field. Two hand going to take it the distance. He's brought down. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL, but a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. Look at that, the defensive line, now they're all spreading out. Brady's on the move. And incomplete, didn't get his feet down. Nice job by the defensive backs. The quarterback buys the extra time. He gets outside of the pocket, but look at him. They stay right with the pass receivers. Nobody gets open. Quarterback has to throw it away. Second down and 10. Will go ground. That's a gain of only a yard. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. And we've reached the two-minute warning. First half winding down as we return from the two-minute warning. Third and nine. Brady's taking off. Ball's picked off. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Airing it out. And it's batted down. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. 